Yeah, what's going on, camera? You want to play hide and seek? <laughs> Hell yeah. I love me some hide and seek. Cool. I'm going to count to three, and then I'm going to find you. Ready? Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Here I come. What's that? What am I going to do now? Guess I'm going to have to go watch some Netflix for a few months. Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've made a video, but I hope that little skit uh, tells you absolutely nothing about why I wasn't making videos and that I hope that you enjoy what I'm about to do today, which is a little Q&A to get us back in the game. <sighs> Let's go. August asked, what's some advice you'd like to give aspiring genderqueer musicians or actors? Don't change yourself for the industry. That's the biggest thing that I can say, because all of the advice I've ever gotten is to be more feminine and to be less myself, and the reason that I've gotten roles is because I am myself. So don't ever change who you are just because somebody is telling you that who you are isn't sellable in media. It is, and our stories need to be out there. Sam asked, would you rather be unable to tell the difference between babies and muffins or sneeze mayonnaise? Babies and muffins, obviously, because sneezing mayonnaise would be disc- <laughs> don't, don't, don't look at me. Sammy Adams asked, how are you? Good. What's a song in a car that makes you feel like you're in a music video? This one. None you. None you. Lost Ragdoll asked, last meal on earth? I have some mayonnaise right here, so, uh, this. Fbet asked, are you planning to do more music videos? As some of you might not know, I released two music videos for the past few months, um, each for my new EP, which is out now. It's on Spotify, iTunes, and it's also on Bandcamp. So if you really like my music and you like this album, I'd super appreciate your support. Um, download, buy the album wherever you listen to music. It would be super awesome because I would love to make more music videos Please, let me make more gay love songs for you. When asked, if you could send a message to your 13-year-old self. Don't, don't do the Tegan and Sarah mullet, please, for um, both of our sakes for the next few years. Uh, Fletcher James asked, would you rather have a dog with human hands or a cat with a human face? How you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, so that's it. I am back with some videos. There will be one a week, probably on Sundays, and I really hope that you enjoy my new content. If there's any stuff you'd like me to react to, please tell me about them below. Link me to videos on Twitter because I've been really into reaction videos lately and it's something I want to try out, so I hope that's something you're interested in too. I love you all. I hope you have a amazing beginning of February, and I will see you all soon. Ish. I am clumsy.